Yes, could this scene play out here? Tonight, we track down the local ties to the Waco shootout and examine the gang presence in Austin. Police say the deadly shooting between five banker, biker gangs in Waco yesterday is now considered a capital murder case. Nine bikers were killed. More than 170 people have been arrested now, and at least eight of them have local ties. This is a look at some of those men's mug shots. According to public records, at least four of them live in Austin. Others are based in Dripping Springs, Georgetown, and Marble Falls. KXAN's Chris Sadegi is live in Waco right now with more on this investigation. Chris? Well, Shannon, they've been out here since the shooting. This is a large crime scene. That's why we're quite a ways back in this parking lot. But within just the last hour or so, we've seen tow trucks coming, removing the bikes that were left in this parking lot. Today, the restaurant and the riders began only the start of the consequences. All the attention is on Waco, and Dan Worley hates it. This is a great place to live and raise a family. Neither he nor the bars across town we spoke to had heard of a biker night, but now they all have. And it's unfortunate that those people came into our town to do something like that. 170 of them now take up space in the McLennan County Jail with $1 million bonds and charges that could reach capital murder. The restaurant is also facing the music. Say goodbye to the Twin Peaks signage. The corporate office revoked their franchise agreement, and the TABC also did some suspending. Actually, been out to the location um, to talk to him. They'd only been having their bike nights for about a month. Because someone was shot, stabbed, or killed, Lieutenant Tana Travis said TABC can automatically suspend the restaurant's liquor license for seven days, and it could ultimately be many more. They'd previously discussed concerns with the restaurant's biker nights, and they still do. We want to be able to articulate that we believe there's a likelihood of a future act of violence or retaliation, and that was certainly the case in this instance. If the restaurant ever reopens, it will be under a different name, but likely with the same stain. I hate that it happened. I wish it hadn't have. And TABC said that up until this point, they had conversations with the management about the biker night and that the management was receptive. However, Waco BD has already said the management did not do enough to keep this incident from happening. We're live in Waco tonight. Chris Sadegi, KXAN News. Well, police believe the Bandidos motorcycle gang is responsible for the 2006 shooting death of an Austin father. Anthony Benish was shot and killed in front of his own children while he was leaving Sacconi's Pizza in northwest Austin. Police released this surveillance video showing the final moments before the attack. They received nearly 100 tips related to this crime, and during the investigation, AP discovered that Benish had received threats from the Banditos gang when he started wearing the colors of rival gang Hell's Angels. But police told us today that the crime still remains unsolved. And according to the Justice Department, the Bandidos and the Hells Angels are the two biggest motorcycle gangs in the country. They both have nearly 1,000 active members in the U.S. They also operate in 13 other countries. Both gangs transport and distribute a number of drugs, but the Justice Department says the Hells Angels are also involved in other criminal activities like assault, extortion, homicide, and money laundering.